Let's take a look at some of the other happenings in the National Assembly during the week. <laughs> These are members of the People's Democratic Party caucus in the Senate. They are addressing journalists and some of the developments in the nation's politics. One of the key issues on the mind of these lawmakers is the suspended River State rerun election for the National and State Assembly. Besides condemning the acts of violence that trailed the election, the federal lawmakers are asking President Muhammad Buhari to institute a panel of inquiry to ensure that those behind the acts are brought to justice. The caucus also resolved to pay a solidarity visit to River State by sending a strong team to go down and physically commiserate with the families of those who lost their loved ones and also the governor uh, of River State on behalf of his people. But we must point out that as a caucus, we condemn in totality all acts of violence perpetrated by any group uh, in any election and we believe that what is happening it will not be in the interest of the nation if violence is allowed uh, if impunity is allowed in any election and on that note we call on the president to institute a high-powered uh, commission of inquiry to look into those who murdered most of the PDP faithfuls in the rural elections in River State and that the perpetrators should also be brought to book. The Deputy Our Senate President expressed concern over the inconclusive uh, election. The issue of um, inconsist, uh, inconclusive elections is becoming very worrisome to us uh, in the PDP because what we are dealing with presently uh, are many cases of isolated elections. So if elections are inconclusive when you are dealing with just one state, they were worried about what will happen in 2019. So we are conscious of the fact that the chairman is new and uh, the national commissioners are deplete, but we believe that they still have a full, full complement of uh, logistics you know, established in the INEC. So we are worried that most of the elections that are taking place over the last few months were inconclusive. So we want INEC to sit up and uh, reassure Nigerians that they can conduct elections in 2019. So we believe that the earlier they put their acts together, the better for all of us. So. On this note, too, I also want to emphasize that regarding River State, the idea of uh, cancelling the elections should not even be considered because of the human and material cost. More so when, from our own findings, elections took place in all the wards uh, in, the, in the state. So what is remaining now is for those, uh, those results already collected be announced. So because the idea of going back entails probably the loss or lose of um, more lives and they probably will uh, entail a uh, huge expenditure on both the INEC and uh, the nation. The lawmakers also agreed to send a delegation to commensurate with families of those who lost their lives during the exercise. 29-year-old Ayodele Dada, who graduated with a cumulative grade point average of 5.0 from the Honorable University Lee. of Lagos, received a standing speaker, ovation from the House of Representatives in plenary in honor of his rare academic feat. In an unprecedented gesture, the Legislative today, House suspended its rules to invite Mr. Ayodele Dada into so, its hallowed chamber to honor him and commend his remarkable achievement, a tradition usually reserved for visiting presidents and parliamentarians. Some of the lawmakers say young Dada's success story in the face of challenges in the education sector is compelling and an inspiration to the Nigerian youth and the country in general. This parliament will sustain this tradition wherein any of our students, wherever he is on this planet, if he excelled in this manner, he should be celebrated at the national level. So kindly take your seat. No one can stop you, but only you can stop yourself. For the gentleman that is here, Honorable Nan has said something that you are a role model. I know there are certain things that destroy role models that I want you to be very careful of. Because people are looking up to you, they see you as a model. Chances are that you may come across things that you may think 
they are very cheap. And really those things may cheaply come to you, but they will be the most expensive mistake of your life. <laughs> so my charge to you, therefore, is that you have started very well. But in life, it's no good to start very well only. You must end very well. At the end of the day, if your end is not celebrated the way we are celebrating you today, it's better you have not even made us celebrate you today. So the end of a matter, as they say, is better than the beginning thereof. You have begun very well. You must end very well. Now this is where we draw the curtains on this week's edition of The Gavel. If you have any views on any of the issues discussed, please email us on thegavel at channelstv.com. Thank you for staying with us and see you again next week.